during summertime, the, the, the lakes and the dams are dwindling and they, pre uh, they prevent us from watering. So we decided to have a project here in church. We decided to have a water collecting barrel uh, during rainy days to be used in watering our plants outside. Our priest actually is the one who applied for the grant and according to it's uh, it's okay. It went well. Yeah, <laughs> we have the talent actually. We have the time, but we don't have the resources. They say the heat pump uh, can solve less electricity than the one we have now before. So that would be wonderful mm -hmm. if they would help us, if they would give us a grant for that, especially that our theater now is, you know, they're getting old. Of course, yes, it is very, we are so blessed, especially for the grant that they have given us. It keeps us motivated to do all the, and during the conference, that's why we are doing all the beads and uh, the garden herbal. Mm -hmm. And it's 90% done with all the baby. I think we'll just continue on growing and we'll just maybe add some more if there are, if we are able to, or just do the gardening or about because we are concerned about environment the conservation of water and planting of traditional herbal plants are additions to what we already doing in the protection of our environment reverend lauren dykstra from salal and cedar came last year to discuss about medicinal gardens on how are we going to start, how to do it, and what is the benefit of it. We learned about medicinal plants that are locally available in our community or at our backyard, and they inspired us to make our own. So the other project that we're doing is recycling. Segregate all those that goes in the trash, that goes on the recycle bin, and also that go that we can go and sell to make money for the for the congregation we are planning to to teach them also to do some gardening in their homes yeah. especially for the er herbal garden That's okay. not only on the church around you and also our community around our around the trees.